I'm definitely gonna be sharing your TikTok. So that was oh, like. No. <laughs> In my head, I don't know what you're thinking now. To the ground and pulled out a ring and said, "Marry me, Juliet. You never have to be alone. I love you." And that's all. all right, hello everybody. I am here with. Kaylee and Spencer. They were our bride and groom from August 2nd, 2020. We had an amazing wedding day with them. We got to help them during their engagement. And then uh, we became their day of coordinator on wedding day. And fast forward a few more months, Kaylee is now a Vail Events wedding coordinator. So if she looks familiar, that's because she's part of our team. But um, she and or her and Spencer had such an amazing wedding day and today we're just going to kind of recap it. I'm going to ask them some questions. So if you're a bride getting married, I hope this is helpful for you. But uh, Kaylee and Spencer, I just want to kind of hear overall, how was your wedding day? It was all right, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. It was amazing. Like I could not have asked for a better experience. Like literally, Thinking about just everything that went on on our wedding day, it's just everything was amazing and everything just went so well and was so organized and I can't complain. <laughs> yeah. You too, Spencer? It was really great, but one thing I, I really thought was was how fast it all goes by. Like yeah. it, unless you kinda take that time to stop and appreciate what's all going on. Like you 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 blink and all of a sudden it's like, all right, time to go. You're done. Like, wow. Yeah, it did go really fast. Mm -hmm. Like I remember we got in our limo right afterwards and we were just like, looked at each other and we're like, <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> like what, what just happened? <laughs> so, but <laughs> it was really amazing. Nice. We loved it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. So I want to fill everyone in kind of on your timeline. So they had their ceremony and reception at Avon Jake's. It's a wedding venue in Lawrence, Kansas. And so um, if you're familiar with Ava and Jake's, there's a hotel literally right next door. So you guys did hair and makeup. Um, the girls did all that at the hotel. And then you guys walked over to the venue to get dressed. And I think, Spencer, you guys, the guys got dressed at the venue, correct? Yep. Yeah. So that's how they started their morning, got dressed, um, did first look which was adorable. Got to show some clips of their first look here. But after that, they did some bridal party photos, family photos, and then recept or sorry, and then, and then ceremony at five. And then after that, a small cocktail hour with a room flip, which is what we kind of helped with on our side, and then reception after that. So just so everyone kind of knows how your day flowed, that was their timeline. Um, how did you think that went? Did you like the timeline? Do you, do you felt like you had enough time in all the areas? Were you ever rushed? Tell me about that. I would say that I really liked our timeline. Um, I'm really glad that we did a first look because that just helped the timeline so much. Like we were able to do all of our pictures before um, the ceremony and get all of that out of the way. And honestly, for me, like after the first look, it was like, okay, I can calm all of my nerves down. Like, I've seen him. We're ready to go. Um, but I think that our timeline went, went great. Mm -hmm. I also think that it was aided by the fact that we were doing our, our ceremony and our reception both at the same venue. And then we also had the hotel that we were staying in. It was a 30-second walk away. So whenever you, whenever you have those, those last minute, like, did I bring it? my suspenders are like where, where socks or, or, or somebody has to like run back to, to, to grab something it's not like it's not like they have to drive all the way across town or um yeah. or switching between your ceremony and your reception you don't have to have like an hour long hour and a half long cocktail hour while everybody drives over from 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 yeah. the, the other venue and everything gets all set up so that's a huge advantage in terms of um, convenience for every, everybody involved, getting things set up and getting things transitioned, but then also allowing you more freedom um, to have that time be shorter and then um, make it to where your, your guests don't have to stand around for an hour yeah. like, looking at their watches, wondering like, geez, do I have to keep making small talk with someone I don't know? <laughs> well, no, but yeah, it was just really convenient and it was fun to have everything in the same place. And like, I really enjoyed everybody being 
at the hotel all weekend and then just being able to go over there because we got to like all hang out and then just hang out all day at the venue. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah, you really do get to save those chunks of time where you would be traveling and get to utilize them at your party or at dinner or wherever. So yeah, it's also much that. more stress free whenever you, you don't have to worry about like, oh, like we're stuck in traffic and we're going to be we're going to be late oh. to our, our own wedding because <laughs> <laughs> we got a flat tire on the way there or, or something ridiculous that would only happen to you in a very I got to be there. It's the one time that something <laughs> bad goes wrong. So you, okay. it really takes a, a lot of the stress of that away. There's, there's no chance of anything like that that's happening true. if you don't that's have true. to go anywhere. <laughs> no, that's, I love it. So tell me, you know, kind of looking back, was there anything you would have changed as far as like vendors or really you guys liked your timeline, but anything you would have added or wish you would have done? That, not, honestly, not <laughs> really. Yeah, we're trying to do this anyway. You like, need to do a TikTok, Kaylee. So I think you got all the things checked off. <laughs> and it like, I just loved every minute of our day. Like, I honestly wouldn't change. If I could change one thing, it would be that Corona didn't exist. But we couldn't do that, so we just wore our masks, rolled with the punches, and and did it. And I'm really glad that we did. Um, vendor wise. I just, honestly, I wouldn't have changed anything. That's good. That's a great answer. We like to hear that one. <laughs> yeah. We put in yeah. like ahead of time planning so then everything was great. So then, yeah. yeah, exactly. We did a lot of work um, with you beforehand to create that timeline, to figure out your rentals. We talked with all the vendors, making sure, you know, what time they were arriving was the time they knew to arrive. All those things um, took place beforehand. That way wedding day could go smooth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And I have to say, you rocked that mask. Thank you. Thank you. Like, <laughs> it was so cute. You would, like, walk up to a guest and, like, put it on, and then they wouldn't take a picture. You'd, you'd flip it off, take a picture, run back to the dance floor, put it on. Like, I think you had How pockets. You this? Like, you just got to make the best of it. Yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> cool. Okay, so... Tell me what you love most about your day. Was there like one specific thing? Obviously, you guys got married to each other, which is probably number one. I no, that yeah, was okay. <laughs> What's your favorite thing? <laughs> um, I I really really enjoyed how our <laughs> let me laugh at me um, how our uh, dessert table and all the cakes <laughs> came together. I thought my cake was super cool. Yes, um, I was really 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 impressed with how, how how good it actually turned out like I, I had like a vision of how it was going to turn out in my mind and it's going to be like, like kind of cool kind of okay but it was so awesome was that a surprise Spencer we knew that that was going to happen but I, I I didn't know that it was going to be that good yeah like, it I was amazing I wasn't expecting it to turn out so good it was well really awesome. and like you didn't really want a groom's cake you were like oh, I don't really need one no. is that really necessary and then you're like so glad you did it. Yeah, yeah. You guys all ganged up on me. And then it was the rest. Yeah. Um, but did you get icing on the little feather thing? Because Kaylee's like, do not put this in the cake. Oh, I said that because yeah. this man would have yeah, killed me. <laughs> um, there were like five people in charge of making sure I, <laughs> that icing did not get off. <laughs> um, okay. I would say... What I loved most, honestly, I would say just how carefree the day was and like how just happy and blessed everyone was to be there. Um, and yeah, that comes from all of the little things that I loved, like doing a first look with my dad and brothers, or um, we had part of the KU bar band wow. come to our reception. And that was so much fun. Like, it was just a party, a big band party, pretty much. Um, and so all of those just, like, fun things that I loved just made me so happy. Like, and just planning so much beforehand made it just such a carefree day. Um, another thing that I really loved was for our father-daughter and mother-son dances, we um, had, like, me and my dad when we had our like minute 
of just us and then we invited all other father and daughters in that was just really special to me um because then I got to see like my grandpa and my mom and aunt dancing mm-hmm. together and like my cousin and her kids so um and same for him and his mom and that was just really cute that was one of my favorite parts of the day that was really cool I love that and to be honest, sometimes those family dances or the parent dances can get kind of long. Like and they're you know, awkward like a, sometimes. Yeah, like a five or six minute song, it can kind of take a while. It's like, why not have people join you? Love that. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Um, my other favorite part was, I will never forget this. The look on my dad's face when I surprised him with this song from Tarzan <laughs> was literally that is top five of my favorite moments of my whole life. That was, it was good. That was so cute. I love that it was on wedding day. <laughs> I love it. And I know you also talk about this all the time in your, when you're wearing your coordinator hat, it's kind of seeing everything come together. You put all of this like time and money and energy and thinking and Pinterest scrolling and meetings with your coordinator or your designer. And then like, bam, you know, August 2nd, here it is. You get to see it. Yeah. Um, I actually, you had a big moment. I, I did. I had a big, I think Lindsay was there for that. I saw it all. Yeah. Um, (laughs) I did not cry the whole, I almost cried in my brother's speeches. Almost. I think one tear came out of my eye, but then the other time I almost cried was when I like walked down and saw everything. I seriously was just like, I loved it so much and like I had worked so hard to get to that point that like when I saw it all I just was so happy I cried. (laughs) It made me cry. (laughs) I love it. Okay so another question for you is obviously Kaylee and Spencer because Spencer actually helps out at our weddings too so he's He's seen it all, the back, the back end of like what goes on behind the scenes, but also being a groom. So um, I, I hope, I kind of know what your answer is going to be here, but tell, tell us like if a bride's trying to think if, if they should hire a wedding coordinator or not, you know, what would you tell them? What would you tell them? I would say definitely yes, um, because it, it really frees you up on your wedding day to not have to like keep track of all those little small things and like be the person who has like bobby pins or like safety pins just just on them or like any of the hundreds of of items that i know you you guys have in the the little like emergency bug out bags um, (laughs) yeah Uh, and and then like it also um, just allows you to to kind of sit back and then enjoy all of the the fruits of all the planning and all the work and everything that you've done the whole time then it also just lets you not stress about what's going on during the day and the logistics of getting your ceremony and everything set up so you don't have to worry about like your your like 15 year old cousin who doesn't really know when they're supposed to be walking down the aisle or where they're supposed to go or how do I pin on my my boot yeah. like you don't have to go go and, and do 10 boutonnieres because none of the guys know how to do it like yeah. you don't have to do any of those things and that just allows you to be in the moment a little bit more and then experience your wedding the way that you would like to experience it which is very hands-off I'm just going to go with whatever happens and um, enjoy all of the the hard work that I put in to get me to this point like I've done all this work to get here I may as well enjoy it like your wedding day should not be another day of work for you it should should be a day where you sit back and enjoy the work that you've already done yeah well and not only just for the bride and groom but like your family um Mm. shouldn't and your family doesn't want to have to go do all of those tasks um like i am yeah like i am a coordinator and my brother's engaged and like we had talked about maybe me coordinating but i'm like i don't i told him i said i don't want to coordinate on the on the day of because i'm your sister like i want to be there just partying and having a fun time like that's just how important it is to have somebody else doing those things. Um, I guess I'll come to California. Okay. <laughs> and um, like, I like to tell people like after, after you do the rehearsal, like after the rehearsal, you're done making decisions. Yeah. Um, it's just like, okay, everything's the coordinator's problem. You won't even know problems are going <laughs> on. And uh, that's just, 
that just makes everything so much easier. Yeah, I'm trying to think if, if we had any problems are on our end, and I really don't think we did. You mentioned having some sort of catering problem, but you literally never told me, so I still don't know on the day I think they were late. Pro one, yeah, probably. I don't know. See, but I didn't even know. Yeah, and you didn't know. It didn't matter, <clears throat> and it was fine, and it was kind of like one of those first weddings we did with COVID happening, so we were kind of all, well, I know they were trying to work out their kinks because we had to serve everything, so mm -hmm the line just took a little longer because we were making tacos. So it was like, do you want cheese? Okay. Do you want lettuce? Okay. Do you want yeah. salsa? Okay. So like the line just took a long time. But I think obviously like after we've done a few, now they're like, okay, we'll just have tacos ready to go. And now we know that as a company, like if you want a taco bar, that's fine. But have some just pre-made, people can grab and then they can take off or add to it if they want. Yeah. 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 And then uh, the room flip that Eve and Jake's, did take a little longer than I thought, but I probably should have just had more staff there. Um, so yeah, I didn't even know. Yeah, you had no idea. We were just excited to be there. I didn't yeah. Know. And that's just, you just never know like how long it's gonna take to get the tables out. And because yeah. I know the Ava Jakes had staff there to help with it and they did, they were amazing. They did great, but it just, it just takes a while. So. Yeah. so tell me a little bit about your budget. You know, you spend a lot of money on things, was there anything that you wish you wouldn't have spent money on, or maybe you wish you would spend more money on? I don't, um, I don't think there was anything that I wouldn't want to have spent money on. Um, I feel like we did pretty good about that. Also, probably because I was a very DIY bride, I made a lot of things mm -hmm. and, um, just was kind of price cautious. Um, but also like when it comes to budget in my mind, like it's so different for everybody because like for me, I spent a lot of money on my wedding dress, but that's because that is something that was very important to me. I grew up watching every single episode of Say Yes to the Dress three times. Three is this very small number way more than three so like the dress for me was just very important but because I spent so much on my dress I didn't care to spend as much on something else that I didn't care about you know mm -hmm. so like I think that it just really fluctuates for brides because um like if you just want the most amount of floral ever at your wedding but you don't care as much about your dress then like you can kind of play with that you know so I think we did pretty good with mm -hmm. spending money. Mm -hmm. um, something I maybe would have spent more money on was like an actual caterer caterer. Um, Cause we did fuzzies, which I love that we did fuzzies. Uh, yeah. um, but like, they're not a catering specific company. Okay. So maybe just um, having more of a catering specific company that that's just their niche and that's yeah. what they do. Um, but otherwise that's, that's what I think. Yeah. I but good. I maybe shouldn't have spent as much on my dress, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> your I think that was a big priority for you. So it doesn't yeah. matter, you know, yeah. and if you can stay within your budget and you spend more here and less here, then you're fine. Yeah. One <laughs> thing that I'm really glad that we spent some extra money on was getting a second photographer. Um, mm -hmm. Because it's just really cool to, like see my reaction at one point, but then also Spencer's reaction or like my grandma who was sitting there seeing her reaction. Um, so we have like a million pictures, but I'm a picture hoarder and I wouldn't trade it for the world because it's just like that is the best day of your life. And so having all the different angles and just having all of those memories was really important to me. So I'm glad that um, we spent the money to have an extra photographer. I would say just having the extra hands, like with vendors and everything, is worth the money. Yeah. You don't so. want to miss out or wish you would have had two people. Like, just, just add it to your package and it'll be worth it. <laughs> if, it's, if it's going to take stress off the day and just be easier, yeah. it's usually worth it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those little add ons are pennies compared to usually what you're spending, like hiring a photographer in general. If it's an extra, you know, 500, 1,000, whatever, you know usually it's just, it's worth the money because 
you're going to be spending it already. You want to make sure you're getting what you're paying for and getting what you want because you can't redo it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have one shot. <laughs> yeah. Anything else you guys want to add? Um, I'm definitely going to be sharing your TikTok. So that was oh, like. No. <laughs> and I only made, I only made the TikTok because I was so just nervous and antsy for that 30 minutes of hiding is brutal. Like, it honestly is a rough time because you are just like, one, being forced to hide, two, excited, nervous. There's a lot of emotions going on there. So I had to entertain myself and we made a TikTok. And then it gets worse when the bridal party leaves you and it's just me and dad. Then I was even more nervous. I literally was like, people, start the wedding. Start the wedding. I would say getting vendors that you just love to work with is huge because it just makes it so fun. Like, I loved our DJ. Um, Jason Spencer is, like, yeah. the best DJ on the planet. He just made it so fun. And one thing that, like, really helped me was I think this was, like, the first time we had met via Zoom. And he just took the whole first 20 minutes to ask how I personally was during Corona. And that just meant so much to me because I didn't even know this man. And he cared about me first before like the event that was happening. Yeah. Um, and like um, Cami, our cake lady, was just so fun. And just having a team of vendors that's just a blast and loves to work together is, is really worth it, I think. Um, and your photographer and videographer got along really good. Yeah. They and are with you all day long in your face, kind of in your face slash kind of behind the scenes, but you've got to yeah. be able to sit with them and get along with them. Yeah. Well, and we use people like friends that we knew from college for a photographer and videographer. So that was really fun too, because like they were familiar faces to us. And so it was like, oh, we can just like have fun with them, you know, but that that meant a lot. Thank you, thank you. Love seeing you and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.